What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back with y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. <clears throat> Ooh -wee. Hope everybody had a blessed day. Hope everybody had a good day. Real quick, you guys, if you're going through a bad patch in your life, if you're frustrated, if you're aggravated, please understand God loves you. Cast your cares on Jesus because he cares about you. God got a blessing for you. Keep your head up. Everything okay, no matter who walked away, no matter who gave up on you, no matter who said something negative to you or about you, no matter who turned their back on you, please understand something and everything. It was meant for them to do it because God had to get them out of your life because they were no good for you anyway. Keep your head up and be blessed, you guys. Jesus got a blessing with your name on it. Hang in there, hang in there a little while longer. Don't give up faith. Jesus loves you and He died for you. It's not no religion, He died for you and He cares about you and everything. You got a blessing that's going to come. You gonna, I call you blessed right now. I, <clears throat> I call your new job over your life right now. You debt free. Your needs are met. I call you coming out of loneliness. You will find that right man or that right woman. And everything that you always wanted. In Jesus name, I call you blessed. Amen. All right, you guys. This is your first time tuning into my channel. Please understand something. I talk about real shit on my channel. I ain't here to bullshit nobody. I ain't here to lie to nobody. I'm here to keep things real. I'm here to keep things, you know, unedited. If somebody came and said something negative to you about my channel, please tell them to go straight to hell because I ain't got time for that. Everything. Let the haters hate. Okay? <clears throat> Remember, if somebody ain't you, if no one around you is hating on you, then you're doing something wrong. So make sure and everything, you stay motivated and you keep going, you guys. Real quick, I'm here to challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. I ain't here to put you down. I ain't here to low grade you. I ain't here to chastise you. That's for God to do. And I have no heaven or hell to put you in. Hell, I'm trying to make it to heaven myself. But I am here to challenge you to be a better man and better woman off my videos. All right. All right, you guys. The topic of the conversation is called <clears throat> Lights, Camera, Action. I repeat, Lights, Camera, Action. It's the title of today's subject. I'm pretty sure we all have been to a movie, a play, a recital, whatever, at some point in our lives. And as you see when you go in there and everything, or just watching actors on TV, before an actor steps on stage, okay, whatever that stage or setting is, or landscape, whatever high things is, you know, configurated, he's, he or she is given a script that they must act off without actually having the script in their hand when they're reading it in front of an audience. Okay? Life is the same way. You see, God gave us a script that all of us need to go by and everything. And that's called the Bible. Okay? And it, and make it even more uh, superior terms. I'm mean, sorry, not superior terms. Make it more cl uh, clear for you and everything. Whatever God created you for, your life has to play out script. It has to be scripted that way. Whatever he made you for. Okay? Understand something, you guys. Everybody ain't going to like your act. Everybody ain't going to like your talent. And everybody ain't going to cheer when you walk on stage. You're going to have some people that will try to sabotage you in life and everything on why you on stage. Remember, the, the stage is your, is your setting at where you are in life right now. You're going to have people who tries to tell you, no, this is a different script. Don't read this script. Don't do this script. Don't act this script. Everything You play this role. You play the role that Jesus gave you, okay? That's a role you need to play. He's created you for a reason, okay? And he's he already has your life scripted out. All you got to do is follow it. First, acknowledge, you know, figure out what it is. And once he revealed to you what your script is, meaning your calling, that's what you go for, okay? Don't let the world switch your script. Don't let the world tamper with the words that's been put on that paper. God, he distinctly, distinctly made you different from, from everybody, just like he did myself, okay? We all have different callings, and we all have different reasons why we're on earth. As soon as you find out what your, what your calling is, meaning what script that God has written out for you, the quicker you can start acting that way and acting off the script that he gave you. The more you keep acting off the script, the more you're going to keep causing disruption in your own life, okay? Please understand that. And understand something, you guys. When you are performing on stage, like I said, stage is life. 
When you are performing on stage, I don't care where you are, you always have an audience. You always have an audience. My mother taught me that young and everything. No matter what you do, you always have somebody somewhere got a pair of eyes watching you. Not just God, not just the devil. It's a pair of eyes. I mean, human eyes is watching you. That's why you got to watch how you govern yourself. Watch how you treat people. Watch how you talk to your kids. Watch how you talk to your family. Talk to your parents. You always have to be careful and cognizant of that because there's always somebody watching you. And I don't mean to sing rock world and everything, but hell, you do get the feeling that there's somebody always watching me. So you got to understand and everything. You have people in this life and everything. They judge you by how they hear you and how they view you and how they see you, even without even getting to know you. So I try to tell you everything. Make sure you put a positive image out there. Okay? You won't always have haters. Please understand, you're always going to have somebody that dislikes you. you always got somebody that got some negative to say about you. But it's up to you to view yourself the way you want to view. If you think you're nothing, if you think you ain't nobody, you think you're a failure, that's what you will be. Because so is a man think of, so is he. But you need to think that you're a winner. You're an accomplisher and everything. You're somebody that's going to get shit done. That's how you got to think. Think positive, you guys. Please understand something. Don't kick your own self while you're down. You got enough enemies and enough phony friends and family that would do that for you. I'm going to say it again. Don't kick yourself while you're down. Because you got enough phony friends, phony family, and phony co-workers and everything that would kick you while you're down. So that's why I tell you guys and everything. You have to make sure and be cognizant of what you're doing. You understand me? When you get on that stage and Jesus gives you a script to act and everything, do exactly what it says on that paper. Never ad lib anything Jesus tells you. Okay? In other words, don't don't deviate from what he's telling you. If Jesus is telling you to act, you know, A, no X, Y, Z and everything. Don't do A, B, C. Do what the man tells you to do. Because apparently one thing about God I've learned. God never tells you to do something without a reason in behind it. That's one thing about the man. He would never tell you to do something if there's not a reason in behind it. Now, you mean, and you may not understand the reason, but he does. If God tells you, hey, stay with this woman, although everything in your mind and body is telling you to leave this woman, if God tells you to stay with this woman, he's telling you that for a reason. If God telling you to stay with this man and everything, no matter what's going on or what happened, He's telling you that for a reason. Apparently, he must see something that you don't see. See, we can never have God eyes or God ears. Because God sees a bazillion uh, light years further than we do. Okay, I mean, we're just seeing what's in front of us. And even myself, I had to learn and everything that my vision can never be God's vision. Because although sometimes we want to give up on some things and some people, God always, he's, he always found a way for me to stay put and don't give up. Because you guys, me being the way I'm being real with you, me being the way I am and everything, if you don't act right, you ain't talking right, everything, I get the hell away from you. I don't waste my time with people and everything who's just wasteful. But I'm just telling you and everything. In this thing, we, in this amazing uh, thing we call life, God gives you a script to act and everything, and you must act according to that script. Please understand something. The devil's going to come in and try to mess up the, mess up your flow. The devil's going to boo you when you come on stage. And let me, and, and what you have to understand everything, I'd rather have a million people boo me in the crowd than to have, excuse me, I'd rather have a million people boo me in the crowd than to have Jesus boot me in the crowd and everybody else cheer. As long as Jesus is pleased with you, and as long as Jesus is happy with you, the hell with anybody else. If Jesus calls you blessed, you bless. If Jesus say, good job, the hell with anybody talking about. Because at the end of the day, it's what he say. That's what matters. And it ain't no damn religion. It's what Jesus say that matters. Not nobody else. Everybody tell you, oh, you on, you don't not good enough to get that job. You're not good enough for her. You're not good enough for him. If Jesus telling you that you are, the hell with everybody else. Jesus tell people tell you, girl, what you marry him for? Girl, uh, do what you marry her for. She ain't got this. He ain't about that and everything. If God leads you to do something, if God tells you to do something, I'm going to tell you, it's best you do it. 
Because if you disobey him, if you act off script, I promise you, you're going to regret it. Because you got to understand something. Jesus hangs with you when the curtain goes up. But he also hangs with you when the curtains go down. See, when the curtains go down, that the, the actor now, they can you know, go back to their regular self. But when the curtains are up, they put it on a facade because they're trying to act out a role. Okay? Please understand something. When you are given a script by God, you got to act that script when the curtains are up and you got to act that script when the curtains are down. Because when the curtains are down, can't nobody else see the real you but Jesus. That's why he tells you, follow my lead. Follow my lead. But I'm just telling you and everything. You try to act, you go out and act one way, the opposite of what Jesus tells you. And the curtains go down, you continue on acting that way. What you think is going to happen? At some point in time, somebody going to pull that curtain up and realize you ain't all that safe. Or realize you weren't all that real. Or weren't all that good of a friend or family. So I'm just telling you and everything. Do what the man asks you. If you want to know uh, what script, the best script to follow, his word. Excuse me, his word. So I'm letting you guys know and everything. Don't get caught, don't get caught out here doing the opposite of what Jesus tells you to do. Follow the man's lead. You understand me? He gave you a script. It's called his word. He gave you a script. It's called the, his plans, excuse me, for your life. Jesus already knew what you was going to be. He knew what I was going to be. He knew what flaws we going to have. He knew what issues we going to have even before we were born. That's how great he is. That's why I say if he tells you to do something, get up off your ass and do it. You understand me? If he tell you to go date, excuse me, he tell you uh, y'all been dating for a while and you go marry a woman and everything. And you may say, well, she's not built the way I do or built the way I like or she's taller than me. I want a woman shorter than me and everything. I'm going to tell you. I'm telling you. Jesus' crumbs is better than Satan's buffet. Jesus' bologna is better than Satan's steak. Don't be fooled. Okay? So I'm just letting you know and everything. He has a reason why he's telling you this. May not reveal to you why. But he knows why. And I tell you something else and everything. If he tell you to, to marry somebody... If Jesus tells you to do uh, to stay with somebody, like I said, even though you want to at least stay with him. If he tells you to date a woman that's you know, be, get married to a woman that's taller than you, but you prefer a woman that's showing you hell and everything. If y'all in there making love or y'all didn't got married and everything, you might your your short ass might need to get a damn step ladder or something, but I'm just telling you. Okay? <laughs> do what the man asks you to do. And same thing, ladies. If you a little short woman. And you married a great big tall strong man everything you might need a step ladder so i'm just telling you everything i'm the bottom line i'm saying is do what the man asks you follow the script follow the script jesus has for your life personally and you can't go wrong you can't go wrong just want to let you guys know that this for right at 19 y'all be blessed and remember lights camera and action when those curtain go, when that curtain goes up, when life start getting real, when you start going through and everything, that's when you start at carrying out that script. That's when you start acting the way Jesus wants you to act. When you're ready to whoop somebody ass and everything, Jesus tell you don't do it. Let's back down. I'm just telling you, Jesus don't tell you to do something without a reason. That's one thing he don't. He has a reason why he tells you that. He may not re again, he may not reveal to you, but he has a reason for why he tell you that. So let's make sure we do that, you guys. Lights, camera, action. It's time for you to perform. Don't disappoint the master. Because one thing about Jesus, he's always in the crowd. And he's always watching you. And he's critiquing everything you're doing and everything you're saying. Are you disrespecting people? Doing people wrong? Hurting people? Killing people? Lying on people? Cheating on people and everything? Jesus writing all this down. That way, come judgment day, oh, you're going to face a real script. It's called the book of life. And you better pray your ass in there. If you ain't in that book of life, your ass in trouble. Oh, that's your religion. Everything religion, my ass. This ain't no damn religion. It's the truth. Your ass going to figure that out and everything when you die. We all going to go someday. And we going to come face to face with the Lord and Savior. Just want to let you know that. This is Brother 19, you guys. Y'all be blessed.
Act according to script that God gave you. Whatever reason he made for you, act according to script. Lights, camera, action, cut. 